Hey guys, it's Luigi Gal here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install our pre-made setup on the pterodactyl panel. For this demonstration, I am going to be using Factions Reborn, but these instructions will work for the entire Reborn series. The only reason I am using Factions Reborn is just because I haven't made a tutorial with it yet, so I figured being able to see those files directly may help some of you. This is what the pterodactyl panel looks like. If your panel does not look like this, then you may be using a different type of panel known as Multicraft. I have already made a tutorial for Multicraft and you can check that down in the link in the description below. If your panel looks like this, then that is actually considered a Multicraft panel and you would follow that tutorial. However, if your panel looks like the one, this one, then this is a pterodactyl panel and follow this tutorial and it will help you get that pre-made setup installed for you. As soon as you get Factions Reborn downloaded, let's go ahead and drag it to your desktop there. It's just a little bit easier to work with in the desktop. As soon as we get it there and we have the zip file, we're going to go ahead and right click on it. We're going to hit extract all. It'll pull up this. This is just fine. This is basically saying, hey, do you want it on the desktop? We'll go ahead and hit extract. Give it just a second to go ahead and calculate all that and get that extracted for you. As soon as the server is done extracting, it is going to show up like this on the desktop. This essentially is the files there. If we go ahead and dabble tap on that, it does show up as your terms of service and your readme. Go through the terms of service and make sure you read the readme. I don't just put random information in there. It is important stuff. Let's go ahead and actually open this. This is actually the server files there. These are what we are going to be uploading to the actual server. So as soon as we have this extracted and ready to go, let's go ahead and go back to the pterodactyl panel. What we are going to, when you do get there, it's going to look something like this. We are going to want to find something that says SFTP settings, SFTP configuration, something along those lines. If we click on that, it should say something like the connection address, which is known as the host and the username. So at that point, we're going to want to open up FileZilla. And FileZilla shows up here. We're going to copy the connection address. So this, and we will copy the username there. And we'll go ahead and put in the password. And then it's going to say, hey, do you want to trust the key? Go ahead and hit OK. And it's going to say, hey, here's where we're at. Looking at this, this is an extra directory. We'll go ahead and delete that. We don't need that. And this is what you should see, an empty directory listing. So let's go back to the server files. And we are just going to drag and drop. It's going to say, hey, I'm uploading now. See this? Saying we're uploading. And that does take a minute there. As soon as your server files do get uploaded, this is what you should see there. We want to make sure that down here in failed transfers, there isn't any failed transfers. As soon as there's no failed transfers and everything is uploaded successfully, what we currently do not have yet is a spigot.jar. That is included in the jar folder here, so we're going to go ahead and open the jar folder. And we're going to either, for most setups, we will move the spigot.jar there. However, because Factions does use a special spigot.jar, we are going to drag the flux.jar. So we remove the flux.jar to the main directory there, so there we can see it, which means we are good to run the flux.jar, but now we have to tell Pterodactyl to run it. If we go back to our Pterodactyl here, we want to go to startup parameters, and it should say something like server jar file. We want to call that flux.jar. It is case sensitive there, so go ahead and do that, and then hit update startup parameters, and now it is set to run the flux.jar when it is turned on. After we get the startup parameter set there, essentially what we are going to do is go ahead and get up the dependencies. So we want to navigate to the Factions Reborn page. It is going to show up like this. We're on the overview. We're going to want to click on dependencies. That brings up the premium plugins we need to install along with the free plugin. Now the free plugin is Crate Reloaded. It is a completely free plugin. There is a premium version out there. There is absolutely no need to purchase that premium version. We could just download the free version. The author just asked that I don't share the .jar. That way you are exposed to the premium version there. However, the free version works completely fine as I did take the liberty and such to set it up without needing any of those premium information there. The other two premium plugins are Deluxe Chat and ShopGUI Plus. However, make sure at the time of you setting up your server that you check this also because as in future updates, I am getting a custom plugin made to hopefully eliminate both of those plugins to make this completely free. So the next step there is we do want to get all these plugins downloaded and ready to be uploaded to the server. So I'm going to go ahead and download all the newest versions there and I will go ahead and show you how to upload them to the server. 
After we get those plugins purchased, I do have them right here, the Deluxe Chat, the Shop UI Plus, and Crate Reloaded. The Crate Logan is completely free, remember there. Then we're going to go ahead and look at this. We want to open up the FileZilla and look in the plugins folder. So we'll double tap that. It opens up the plugins folder. Right now what you're seeing is all the jars and then the configs for them. If you notice in here, that does not include a deluxe chat, a shop GUI, or a crate reloaded jar in there. But it does have the folders there. So it does have the configs. We just need to install the jars. All we have to do is select the three files, drag and drop, and wait for them to upload does take just a few seconds for them to upload there. As soon as it gets uploaded, we go back to the server there. Go back to your server, go to the console, and we are ready to start the server. It is going to tell you, hey, accept the EULA. I accept. Perfect. It's going to reboot. And now that everything is in order, it is going to start turning on. What we are looking for here is while well, the server is turning on for it to say loading, starting Minecraft server version 1.8.8. .8. It is right there also. So it is going to start loading up. And this is exposed to spike and such there, so that is normal. And as it is booting up, we notice all the plugins are turning on. Awesome. So while that is turning on, we are going to go ahead and go back to the server page there. On the server page there, what we want to look at here is we're going to find our server. This is the server there, along with the IP. This is the IP we are going to use to connect to the server. So if we click on the server there, it should say in the console, it should say done. So now that it is ready, we can go to our Minecraft and try to connect there. Using that IP there, we are able to connect to the server and everything is working for us. Now we can go ahead and do a quick slash shop. Gen buckets, everything is there. Go ahead and do a nice hello world. And boom, everything's there. That is the name of my faction, his. I know it's an amazing faction name. Along with showing me as my current rank because I am the owner there along with the hello world, which is our chat message. Everything is working correctly. The crates, they are all in there working perfect and your server is completely ready to go. And there you have it. The server is completely working and installed on the pterodactyl panel. If you have any questions about installing your setup, please don't hesitate to contact me on discord.premiersetups.com. I am always around to help you out there. If you did enjoy this video, please do drop a like. And if you have any suggestions on what tutorial you want to see next, drop a comment down below. I am always looking for ideas for the new tutorials. But thank you guys for the support. Luigi Cal, out.